What's up? What's poppin'? What are the babies? It's your girl Dej Monet. As you can tell by that title, not them know y'all know what the fuck is going on. So let's stop talking and straight to today's video. That's um period. Okay, so this video was requested by a subscriber of mine's. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can see what she said. And basically she said to talk about not having friends, right? And I just feel like that's a great topic for me to talk about because I do not have friends. I do not fit in with a lot of females and trust and believe I didn't got over it. So I really don't know how I wanted to start this video off or how I want to get into the topic. But I just want to jump right into it. We just going to see where it takes us. You feel me? If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below any other video suggestions that you would like for me to do. And give this video a big thumbs up so it can reach more and more people. And I can keep putting out content for you guys and keep doing videos like this. Okay, so basically, it's, like, so crazy when I think about, like, my old friendships because I feel like a lot of my friendships was based off of what I can do for them, what I bring to the table, what would benefit their life, and I used to not be able to see the signs back then. Like, I swear, I'm not one of them people that think that everybody is out to get them or to even think that, like, oh you know this person got secret in my see this person got da, 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 this person jealous or this person da, 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 this because i have something that they don't no if, i'm not one of the type of people if anything if i have something that you don't i'm one of the type of people that's gonna put you on to get on the same level as me you feel me but i had to learn the hard way that is not always good that is not always good to do because people don't always have good attentions you might be pure and be genuine about it but other people around you they're not they just want to eat off your plate and then talk about you it really be so crazy to me how females can really be and how like i used to be so blind to the way my friends used to be and i used to not think nothing of you like oh that's just how they are that's just how they are like no stop making excuses for them that's not how they are make them stand on that and make them like you feel me and put your foot down and don't let nobody ever play with you even if it's the most smallest things like me personally i'm one of them type of girls no matter where we go even if it's to the store whatever i have to like look presentable you feel me that's just how i was raised that's what i was taught not to go outside with no bonnet no scarf no pajamas just looking toe up you feel me so when they see that okay you getting dressed just to go to the store or you getting dressed da, 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 don't let nobody belittle you don't let nobody belittle you don't let nobody um make you feel less than or make you feel like oh you shouldn't be doing this and that and the third no be you and if your friends can accept you for who you are you need a whole new group of friends and that's why i feel like this day and age i only want to kick it with females that like think highly of themselves i want I only want to kick it with females that have morals think highly of themselves and they put themselves on a pedestal baby put yourself on the highest pedestal in life period because ain't nobody else gonna do it but you so why would you not so it's like going out with females that they don't they they confidence ain't high their confidence are not high they're insecure so when you bring that light that confidence that security that just i'm that girl they hate on it so bad and they try to make you feel less than or when you ask them oh does this look cute does this look good they try to make you put on something that isn't really all that outfit and try to hype it up like oh yeah girl that that look good whatever whoop, whoop, whoop. and it really don't even look that good because the first outfit that you had on that you put together looked better than what they told you to put on you feel me so don't let nobody dim your light at all because that's all they doing. They trying to dim your light so they can feel better about themselves. And for the females that get around other people and they start being two-faced, that's a red flag and you do not need to be cool with them. And don't think that, oh, you peep something and you just might be crazy or you peep something and it might not be all that. No, baby, if you peeped it, I'm pretty sure it is what you think it is it is don't doubt yourself your intuition will tell you for sure if somebody is good for you or not okay 
because the females that get around other people and i mean boys and girls because this didn't happen to me around well it don't i don't think it ever really happened to me around niggas but around other b baby they be trying to act like like their friends basically so say if like i would have a friend right and she would have her own friend and they would try to talk to you any type of way or feel like they can just tell you this and that and a third or just try to boss you around or something but me i'm the type is like i will speak up about it don't i'm not just gonna sit there and let you just do whatever like no i'm gonna speak up about it and once i speak up about it they try to play it off like oh girl i didn't even mean it like that are you this is how i always am no you're not no you're not because if you were always like this then i wouldn't have said nothing correct right you're just trying to make me feel like Oh, you're tripping or something and I'm not if somebody only calls you to get tea and that's the only time that y'all talk you they don't call you to check up on you see how you doing if you need anything are you good what is like you know what's going on they don't call you to just kick it and be and have a girls night or anything like that they never invite you out but the only time they call you is to get tea that girl is not your friend that girl's not your friend she's not she is calling to get whatever tea she need to get and she going to who she feel is her real friends is and she's going to them and she's talking about you so stay on her face stay on her face and you know what sometimes give them a lie give give them a lie and see if they gonna run back and run their mouth and if they run back and run their mouth with that lie baby girl you know to cut them off cut them off they're no good and that's just like ugly to me like it's so crazy how people will do like the most messiest thing and i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm not but that's just why i don't fit in with a lot of females well i i don't fit in at all let me just start there i do not fit in i be in the house to the neck and when i do step out it's either i'm gonna step out and have fun or I'm not stepping out at all like I don't like to just step out and sit in front of niggas faces I don't and that's why I don't be having a lot of friends because I can't kick it with the females that are boy crazy if you are boy crazy men crazy whatever the case may be I don't want to kick it with you I don't it's just so much like baby I don't want to kick it with nobody that's boy crazy always got to sit in some niggas faces and it don't even be worth it it don't even be worth it these niggas don't be about nothing don't have nothing don't even have a card barely even got some money in their pocket but you want to sit in their face make that make sense please make it make sense when i go out i like to go out and have fun i like to go out and make memories if we're not going out to do that why are we going out to kick it with some bootsy ass niggas come on now if a nigga is just trying to kick it with you to smoke or he just trying to kick it with you to buy a bottle girl put two and two together he wants some coochie and giving a man coochie over a 20 dollar bottle is crazy and they never took you out on a date is crazy crazy as hell and i'm sorry i'm not lowering my standards for no friend no nigga no nothing i'm not one of them so i like to stay in the house I like to stay to myself and I don't mind it at first I used to mind it when I didn't have friends I used to be like damn like I don't have no friends I need to start going out more and especially like because you're so young everybody used to be like why don't you ever want to go out why don't you ever want to go out you just be in the house you don't want to ever want to go out I don't ever want to go out because it don't be my cup of tea I'm one of the girls I be in the club on my phone I be like two seconds walked into an event I'm ready to go i want to go home i don't know why it just be like that it just don't sometimes things just don't sit right with you your spirit you just know that you don't belong there and that is okay don't let nobody make you feel like oh you have to go out you have to do da, 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 da. no i like to go out but my type of things to go out when i mean make memories i mean like let's try new restaurants Let's take a trip that we ain't to a city, state, whatever, country, whatever, that we ain't never been before. Let's, like, you know, make memories. That type of make memories. Not, oh, let's just go to the club. It's the hookah lounge up the street. They having a special. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm not one of them. I'm not. Because every time I try to fit in and try to be that, 
baby it just don't sit right with my spirit like my spirit my heart god be telling me girl this is not for you you need to go home straight up and that is okay don't let nobody feel make you feel like oh you have to be outside and partying and stuff like that if you're not a party girl don't make yourself seem like one or don't try to do that to fit in because i promise you it's not worth you gonna probably be more successful when you don't fit in and you gonna like your light is gonna stand out more to people when you try to don't fit in and be yourself you feel me and it's crazy because i don't fit in so much to where i don't even fit in with my own sister and it really does suck sometimes because my mom have five girls just for all of us to not really get along like that but it's because of their own personal reasons and I had to realize that and I had to understand that and I had to be okay with that you feel me like I literally had to say okay it is what it is I can't make somebody like me and I'm not gonna kiss nobody but I'm not. I'd rather be by myself before I go kiss the next person. But just because you're my blood sister, I feel like, oh, we have to have a relationship. No, we don't. We don't have to. Especially if you tried. If you tried and they don't want to have the relationship with you for some odd reason, that's not on you. That's on them. They have to. It's something in a spirit, something, whatever it is, secret or animosity, whatever you want to call it. It's something within their selves that they have to fix before that they can just like you feel me before they can be around you before they can kick it with you before God allows them in your circle. It's something within their selves and don't just because they're blood does not mean that oh we're blood so we have to make up and da 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 family da 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 don't let nobody tell you oh blood is thicker than water because sometimes blood is thicker than water don't be. It don't be. Your own blood will hate on you. Your own blood will have secret animosity towards you. Your own blood will see how good you're doing at such a young age. And where, wherever God is taking you, whatever path he is taking you down, they see your lights. And they just, mm, mm, she thinks she all that. Mm, she thinks she better than us. Mm, da, 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 da. Like, you feel me? And you, genuinely, as a person, you probably don't even think that, baby. You like you just trying to live your day to day life. You feel me? You just trying to live your day to day life. And if you're one of them type of girls that try to bring people up with you, because I have, I've so many times before I put so many people on to YouTube. When I first started my YouTube channel, when I knew, when I started it and I started making money from it and I started gaining the um, clout and the attention that I was gaining off of it, I tried to put so many of my friends and family on. I did. There's nobody on this earth that can't say that I didn't tell them to pick up a camera and do this and this in the third. That I didn't try to put in my videos, do this and this in the third. So many people that I tried to put on that I gave the tea and I gave the scoop to, they are still mad at me to this day that they are not where they want to be in life. But that's not my fault because not only did I put you on, but now I gave you the recipe, you have to bake it. You have to make it. I gave you the recipe. I wrote it down word from word how much ingredients you need, where to go get, get the ingredients from, and everything. And all you had to do was go get the ingredients and cook it. Like, you feel me? And I'm not saying I'm not better than nobody, baby. I'm not. Just because I got a little clout off of YouTube does not make me better than nobody. I'm still a regular ass person. And I want people to understand that. I'm still a regular person. I'm going to I'm going to always carry myself as a regular person. I'm not no this does not put me on a higher pedestal than nobody, but because I have the confidence to get on camera and to not really care about what nobody else has to say and put out my YouTube videos, even when I'm not feeling motivated, I have the confidence and I you know, I try to make myself get motivated to put out this and no matter what I'm going on behind the scenes, I'm trying to put out content so I can get this done and that's why I'm getting the results that I'm getting. It's not me. That's not my fault. It has nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with you and why you're not putting in the work. You feel me? So don't let nobody make you feel like, oh, I'm I'm bad because I didn't I'm not helping nobody or I'm I'm doing wrong because I'm not da 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 da. If you try to help and they don't want the help, 
that's on them. Blood are not. Blood are friends. That's on them. And you can't carry that weight with you. And I'm telling you this now. You have to let that go. Because I'm, I'm still kind of dealing with letting it go. But it's like, I'm dealing with letting it go, but it does, like, you know, it hits home sometimes. It hits home, it sucks, but the more that you just take it day by day and step by step, you are going to get used to being by yourself. You're going to know that you do not fit in. And other people will see that. Other people will see, like, this girl do not fit in with society. And th that does not mean that you're the problem. I'm so tired of people making me feel like I'm the problem so tired of people because one thing about it i always peep things i'm always quiet that's the perks of staying to yourself when you stay to yourself and you peep the scenery out and you just watch what everybody do you watch what everybody say you don't say too much you say a little but you don't say too much you will start realizing like wow this person's like this this person's two-faced this person's messy so i can't tell her too much this person da, 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 this this person don't really want to see me win or it's not even that some people don't even want to see you win they just don't want you to hit, touch that finish line before they do and that's what a lot of things that y'all have to understand some people don't not want to see you win but they just don't want to see you touch that finish line before they do because they feel like if she gets this before i do i'm never gonna reach it or i'm like it's gonna make it harder or da -da -da this or whoopie boop boop no it's not anything i hope and i pray every day that what i'm giving out to youtube and all the time and effort that i'm putting out and how much i repost my stuff on instagram i hope that everybody look at this and look at it as motivation don't look at me and feel like you want my spot because you don't know what i have to go through just like anybody else people allow you to see what they want you to see and i want you guys to understand that people allow you to see what they want you to see in real life they're not showing you the struggles they're not showing you what they have to go through. They're not showing you this and that. And third. They're not showing you the bad at all. They are not showing you the bad. They're only showing you the good, quote unquote. They're only showing you the good. They're only showing you, they only post when they have a blessing. They only post when, you feel me? So don't look at another female and be like, you want her life? Don't look at another female relationship and feel like you know it's okay for you y'all to feel like oh relationship goals that's something that i want for myself but don't be like oh i want her man because he does this and this and that for her so he gonna do this and that and third for me because no he's not every man is different with who they're with that's another thing too every man is different depending on who they're with you bring out a certain type of aura in that man that the last girl could never even get out of him you get what i'm saying he might trick on you but he might not do it for nobody else he might do this and this and third for you but he's not going to do it for nobody else because he doesn't see their value but he sees theirs just like her man she see he sees her value he might not see yours he might just dog you out and or you might be going through hell because that's what you prayed on that is not good you prayed to have that man and when god gave you that man because you're like okay this he like okay this is what you want this is what you want are you sure okay bet and he gives you that and you probably can't even handle him he probably got so much going on you cannot handle him so don't look at nobody else's life and wish that you were them or wish that you were in their shoes just stay motivated stay determined have faith and know that regardless of what you're going through you will reach where you need to be you will you will reach where you need to be in life because god got you whatever storm that you're going through whatever struggle that you're going through you feel like oh i'm never gonna make it oh this and that and third oh, i'm always going through instagram you hate it on the next girl because you're always going through instagram and she just went on a ten thousand dollar shopping spree or she just went and got her a new designer bag or whatever the case may be don't be a hater congratulate that girl be like damn i can't wait till that's me 
I can't wait till that's me because I know I'm going to make it. And when I make it, I know I'm going to get this and this and that and start manifesting. You feel me? Live, like, live your life like you're already living the life that you want. Because that's what I do. I live my life like I'm already living the life I don't want. I don't have 20,000 subscribers, but this month I've been praying my hardest to have 20,000 subscribers. So what do I do? I act like I have a big audience that I just need to keep engaged and need to keep doing this and this and third and you feel me and i'm always reposting my stuff because if they didn't see it yesterday they're gonna see it today if this person that person third wasn't on my instagram two days ago well here it is today they're on here today you feel me so just be mindful of that be mindful of what you wish for be mindful of what you pray for and be mindful of what you say also because the tip of your tongue is very strong and the last thing you want to do is wish bad upon yourself you think you're wishing bad upon somebody else but really it just flipped and it it's in your lap now watch out for the females that hang out with girls that they feel is less than that has less than them that don't look up to par um all the time you know just ugly Watch out for the pretty females because there's a lot of them and you you will really be like, dang, you are such a pretty girl. Why do you feel like you have to hang out with somebody that's less than you just for you to stand out more? Because that's what they're doing. They are hanging out with females that they feel is less than and whatever the case may be so they can stand out more they don't want to hang out with you you're pretty they don't want to hang out with another pretty girl because they feel like oh she's gonna take the shine away from me oh everybody's gonna be looking at her and not paying attention to me but really when you have a genuine friend that just really love you you will never have to feel no type of way when you go out with that friend because when you go out with her, with her, you look good, she look good, y'all fixing each other, outfits, hair, whatever it is, makeup, before y'all step out together and y'all being bosses and y'all being pretty girls and y'all, you know, y'all gonna attract the same energy and the, everybody in the room is gonna look at the both of y'all because they know that, okay, she that girl and she that girl too and they kicking it together. Oh, let me go see what's up. Like, you feel me? But you just being that girl around girls that think of themselves less stands or they're just not confident enough or whatever the case may be, they can be looking their best, baby. You can be dressed them down, told them do this, do that, do this to their hair, whatever the case may be. And they can still be feeling jealous of you just because you are you. You get what I'm saying? Because you are you. So they're jealous. And they're and that is like the most scariest type of people to be around. To be around people that are jealous, people that are, are envious of you or whatever the case may be secret animosity people that don't that lack confidence people that are really really insecure that is the most scariest people to be around because you never know what they might do to you you get drunk one day you never know so please watch out who you kick it with watch who you know you keep your company around and sometimes in life you do not succeed or you're not where you want to be because you have people in your circle that God he wants you put he wants to put you at a bigger platform and he wants to elevate your life but because you have these nasty and evil spirit people in your life he's not going to give you your blessings you are blocking your own blessings by keeping certain friends around that don't need to be around you because even though you want to like damn i just want to see them win i want i want them to win with me i want to bring them up with me i want this and this and the third with them sometimes you gotta just know to let people go and let them go down their own path whatever that is whatever god has in store for them let them be and let them go down their own path and i promise you you didn't save yourself a lot you didn't save yourself a lot over what could have been like you get what i'm saying and a lot of that's why a lot of these girls when they be going on vacation with their friends and they be or they be getting drunk around their friends and they come up missing or they end up dead and stuff like that that's because they were hanging around the wrong group of females because either somebody spiked their drink on some envious jealous like weird stuff 
or they just let them wander off whatever the case may be because they're not they don't really care about you they don't really care about you the friends that's like oh let me fix this before you go out are the friends that's like you out in the club and you put your drink down and your friend like don't don't put your don't pick that up we're just gonna get you a new drink those type of friends is the people that you need to keep around you though they have good company they're good spirit people whatever the case may be those are the people that you need around you for sure because they're always going to look out for you they always want you to do good they're going to be thinking about you and your best what's in your best entrance and that's what you need you need them type of people around you so you can continue to elevate not people that just like Mm, you just don't need negative people around you. You can feel when somebody is negative and somebody's spirit just don't sit right with yours. You can feel when you don't connect with somebody. And don't just allow that to be like, oh, but she's my homegirl. She's cool. She's da 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 this. No. You, it's so many people in this world. You're going to find a whole bunch of homegirls throughout your whole life. <laughs> It's okay. That's why I like to hang out like nowadays. I like to hang out with females that are on the same level as me. Either career wise, we're going down the same path because if I'm going down the same path with you, we're doing the same exact career or some, something similar where we can feed off of each other, where we can benefit each other, not just, oh, I'm giving and don't receive anything. Where we can benefit each other, when I say that, what I mean by is motivate each other. If your friend motivates you, you're a content creator. Your friend motivates you to keep picking up that camera and keep doing this and then third. That's the type of friend you need to keep around. If your friend is coming up with ideas for y'all to make YouTube videos, TikToks, or whatever the case may be, Instagram posts, if she's like that, then that's what you need to keep around you. That's why career-wise, spiritually, mentally, financially i want to only hang out with women that are on the same level as me i do not want to hang out with nobody that's trying to figure it out i'm sorry i didn't did it before and i tried to figure out their life with them and all they did was drag me down so hang out with females that you want to be better like you know you want to be better where people can make you better where you hang out with females where Y'all are growing together, but y'all are growing down the same path and y'all are growing in a good way, in a positive way. Don't hang out with females that are just constantly drag you down, constantly drag you in drama. Because, baby, I didn't been there before, especially with the drama. I didn't been females drag me in a whole type of drama. And when I'm not even friends with them no more, I'm still dealing with the beef. But because I'm not one of them type of girls that, like, I'm not scared of nobody. So I'm not one of them type of girls that's like, oh, that was like her. Cause da, 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 da. No, I just take it head on. But that wasn't my drama to begin with. It wasn't my beef to begin with. You get what I'm saying? And it wouldn't have been your beef if you would have just stopped being cool with that girl. Because that's all she is. She's drama, problematic, nothing but just negativity. And that's all that she would ever be unless she changed that within herself. But you cannot change her. You can't change that. You can only change yourself. You can only grow as a person. If you're growing and she's not growing with you, let her go. It's okay. Let her go. Because it's going to be plenty more females out there that you are going to relate to. That you're going to, you're going to get a whole new friend group. And you're going to even forget about what's her name. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why i just mentally everything financially spiritually everything i only want to kick it with females that are on the same level as me that's going down the same path as me that it has the same mindset as me that's like motivated that's determined that's give you encouraging words that's genuinely happy for you a genuinely pure hearted person hard kind-hearted person that's the only type of females i want to hang out with i don't want to hang out with people that's gonna put me in bad situations give me bad advice you know just stuff like that i don't want to hang out with people like that so that is it and that's all that i have for you guys for this video i know i rambled so much and i just hope that you guys can get some of these tips if you you are going through this right now i'm just letting you know get a new group of friends it's okay to be alone because baby in the long run you are going to be rewarded literally like your peace 
is a reward being pe being a peaceful person being a non-problematic person that's a reward and you can only do that you can only change yourself so i hope you guys like this video give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that po that bell notification so you get notified whenever i post a video and i hope you guys enjoy Mwah.